Sit down. I got a few things to say, and then you big smelly jerk offs can go out and practice, but you get no pants. That's right. You get no pants. You don't deserve pants. Go out and practice without pants on. The Eagles beat the pants off you, so you do not get pants today. No, sir. Not on my watch. I hope you slept like crap last night and you stepped in dog shit in the middle of the fucking night when you got up to piss, you cock-stabbing, neck-biting, cum-stained, rotten tit puss pieces of unwiped shit-gibbon assholes. Where do I begin? Where, where does anyone begin with this fucking mess? We're seven games into this season, and we're two and five. I don't even know what the final score was. I went into the locker room in the fourth quarter and wiped my ass on each one of your fucking locker door handles. Yeah, that's right. Now you can smell your fingers. It'll remind you of how you play today. And while I was in the locker room, I put on the NFL Red zone, and get this, every single game had plays where the quarterback actually threw the ball downfield for completions. Every single game! But no. No, 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 no. No, no, not us. Not us. No, God for fucking bit. Not us. I want to rub my pecker on all of your chin. Holy fucking shit, do we have work to do? Offense, defense, special teams? Oh, yeah. You're special because you suck so much! What's the deal, guys? What's the deal? Do you want to be called the White Sox of football? Do you? Let me tell you people something right now. We are going to work our asses off this week in practice. And when I say work our asses off, I mean when we are done, you will have no asses. You will be assless. You won't be able to sit on the toilet. You won't have anything to hold your pants up. Your backs will go right down. Because you will not have an ass after this week. Danny. Danny boy. 99 yards passing. 99 yards passing. Nice high school stat, Danny boy. Still, no passing touchdowns at home this year. Nice playing offensive line. We had a running game that looked like Helen Keller on roller skates carrying a 200-pound backpack, and the quarterback was sacked about a billion fucking times. Robinson. With three point yards per catch. What's the point of passing for three point eight yards per catch? Bad running backs gain more than three point eight yards per carry. That's like calling yourself a chef, but you can only boil hot dogs. <sighs> you are not pretty. Oh, no, 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 you are not. You are the opposite of pretty. You don't play pretty, that's for sure. The way you play is like an obese person who's lost control of their bowels. You're a Porto John after a college football homecoming game. You're a toothless prostitute with an actual fish hanging out of her vagina. You're a homeless man's underwear on a hot summer day. You're 31st Street between 5th Avenue and Park Avenue on an early Sunday morning.
Here are some words to describe what the New York Giants are right now. Putrid, rotten, decomposed, decayed, polluted, rancid, sour, tainted, impure, curdled, moldy, corroded, disintegrated, mildewy, gangrenous, disintegrating, once again, moldering. I'm done. You fuckwads can go now and think about how you played yesterday. The fans booed. They should boo! You know who pays you? The fans! Who buys the ticket? The fans. Who buys the merchandise? The fans. Who watches the games on TV so the ratings go up and the networks make a fortune and the league makes billions and pays that to the teams who then give the players multi-million dollar contracts? The fans. Do you owe the fans something? Anything? Don't you owe them at least a team that has a chance to win a game? I can't even say let's turn this ship around. At this point, it's let's turn this shit around. Now get the fuck out of here.